the Book of Homilies were early sermons written by people like Thomas Cranmer and others of the great English reformers who were seeking to get this understanding of the justification by faith alone gospel message into the parishes of uh, England and they wanted to make sure that clergy, many of whom had not had a great deal of education, were able to put the message forward with clarity and build people up. And part of the desire of the Reformation was to stress preaching and teaching more and to get out this good news of Jesus Christ in a way that was accessible to every parish in the land. The Holy Ghost, in writing the Holy Scripture, is in nothing more diligent than to pull down man's vain glory and pride, which of all vices is most universally grafted in all mankind, even from the first infection of our first father, Adam. And therefore we read in many places of scripture, many notable lessons against the old rooted vice, to teach us the most commendable virtue of humility, how to know ourselves and to remember what we be of ourselves. The thing of it is that the, uh, these homilies are part of the 39 articles and obviously those are such a central part of Anglican identity obviously after the scriptures and the creeds but it's a way of saying who we are and what we stand for and what we find it, one of those uh, 39 articles refers to these two books of homilies and uh, what we're doing during Lent is just taking out five kind of part homilies that we can take uh, part of our service of evening prayer to give some sense of what it must have been like to receive this kind of teaching from the pulpit back in the days of the Reformation. Wherefore, good people, let us beware of such hypocrisy, vain glory, and justifying of ourselves. Let us look upon our feet, and then down peacock's feathers, down proud heart, down vile clay, frail and brittle vessels. And they're lost treasures, I think, for many uh, in the Anglican world today. And to find a way of putting those back in front of people, where you see the power of them, the feel the winsomeness of them, um, that was part of the thinking. I read them, but I thought these need to be preached. And we thought, well, why not do that? This is a short sermon series uh, during Lent and to involve colleagues and uh, myself together just reading these homilies and getting a sense of their power and their practicality for today. Mm -hmm.